Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video when we're playing some Khan today. Damage Khan with an ultimate focus, because Khan hasn't really changed very much since the last time I covered him, which was quite a while ago, like six months ago, I think January or something like that, so I wanted to play him a little bit differently than I usually would, kind of, you know, defensive tank sort of style and focus on being aggressive, using the ultimate, and make a bit of a more fun video than just kind of revisiting Khan again six months later. I've got two different setups here, but we're going to build a separate one for this video just to fully go in, reckon what I'm going to go for is just standard Khan but without hope guard in it because we're not going to be playing with our healer very much so we'll just change it out for some movement speed and then run something kind of like this I suppose we'll go for max lifesteal why not and then yeah sure let's go for that so we've got TDM trade district for the first one we've got Tiberius a Knessa a Ray and a Willow up against a Yag a Corvus a Lex a Knessa and a Bug so we'll go ahead and grab the setup start off with Cauterize we'll probably get morale boost too just to spam the ult we've got steady aim extension blast flower tokens fury we can F in a little bit they've got some resilience going heroism steady aim bounce house corrosive acid and dark gifts this could go really well or really badly we'll see I'm going to try and stick with the team Yags already straight rolling in we'll fire over some little 48 shots there we go she's dead didn't really do too much damage to us we'll push in here on the legs he should be out too okay there's a Q we can grab the Yag I think that does actually stun her so that might be worth doing I haven't played very much con against Yag at all so it's a bit of a weird matchup there goes Corvus get rid of the legs again servers are a little bit weird the symbol popped up in the bottom left a second ago this is like the third time I'm fighting this Yag there's a stun and some more shots we deal pretty damn good damage Ray is also bursting through there's a Q to counter the jump I think Buck's dead here too Kness is I think thrown over some shots but she was over there but maybe it was somebody else okay she's at the back can we yoink her no we can't because my accuracy sucks I feel like you should get a little bit more than 30% back for missing a can't ult but probably make it too good i also wish he had a punch ability i've said this before i'm dead here too the yeah, egg or maybe not okay well at least he's gonna die for it we've killed that yag like five times out of the eight deaths in this game <laughs> what i was trying to say before i kind of cut myself off in that fight there is i think khan would be really cool with like a punch ability similar to andro's like maybe when you're shielded with like your other hand because he's only holding it with his left one his right one's not doing anything like he'd be just a great character to have like a melee sort of thing i imagine if i try and ult the yag that it will just stun her i'm not sure should we go for it and just see okay cool so it's a stun and a bit of damage a pretty substantial one but not as long as i would hope that it would be but she's gone that's yeah going ahead and pop in the ult maybe we'll be able to clear her probably not she's really really low though they actually did get rid of her there but the animation had already freaking finished we'll go for some more court we'll dash in here to give these guys a hand finish off the yag push up here a bit with the shield because Knessa is just there cue for the rails like a second too goddamn late maybe we can get rid of the bug and at least punish him for it my accuracy is so bad but so are the servers he is still at least gone should be able to quite easily throw him off here we'll just go ahead and throw him in that direction i think you can use his f in time to get back on don't know if he even had it up but there we go he's dead we'll pull up the shield for a little bit we do block damage somewhat well with that life steel is actually putting in work back with the ult there's a grab we'll pop the q but i get out of the animation later than he does so we're dead corpus is also on me there so i was gone regardless there goes the lex pushing here on the knessa there's the q we'll get another little tap and then push in i was about to use the f but i don't think i even need to she's just gone shouts ready for the heal finish off the egg in the back if we can they're both pretty damn low she's going for the ult we should be able to clear her though willow is blasting her there we go just about do have the ult up though so i want to try and yoink somebody we'll grab the buck because he did just use his jump but we can actually throw him off we are oh, we'll go ahead and grab the corvus and throw him off too before the Nessa kills me did we actually fire him no i think he actually just dropped but i killed him anyway so it doesn't matter 39 to 29 we managed to pull the lead five minutes left and there is the victory that was a pretty solid game one i feel like offensive khan worked quite well we were defending quite a bit against the Yag, who did beat us out in damage and so did uh tiberius that legs i'm pretty sure was a bot shout outs to their back and we'll yeah jump into another one so for game two we've got another interesting one siege timberma with a ruckus a ying of vora and a Charlin up against a vatu a ying a grover and octavia and a mave we'll start morale boost this time around it doesn't make that much sense but i just want to spam the ultimate shots over there on the octavia just shooting her feet for some reason i always react as if she's a vivian we'll just stay on the objective here we do have a pretty good amount of staying power with the ruckus and the ying for some reason my shield indicator didn't show up there ruckus is pushing in but i kind of need to sit on the point because no one else is going to do it shots up there for the grove a couple of cheeky headshots there's the shield 96 99 there's the objective captured we died literally the second after we capped it so we've got aerial assault life exchange from this present sand trap street justice asymmetric ferocity focusing lens and an earring i don't know why Charlin hasn't left spawn he's kind of just randomly tweaking left and right on this mount which is really weird and if we won that as a 4v5 it'd be kind of funny if we did there's the q jesus christ that grover hits hard even on the shield you can kind of see there that scaling is mad keep pushing here on the point make sure the grover can't just sit up there for free i'm probably dead here because like all behind me as well shots on the ying she altered i'm 100 gone i'm gonna make them pull back so we have a bit more space for the team maybe i can fight the grover but Definitely not of the ying staying there blasting me. The amount of damage I took there from the two bloody healers is mad. Dash out of the way of that. Do we ult the Vatu? Tried to save the ying, but I was like a second too late. Maybe Ruckus will be able to blast him. There we go. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> Trying to retreat here on like 400 health. There is the Q. I've got to say though, Life really is putting in work or the card that gives us life steal just because they don't have too much cauterized because they have double healers. So only two of them have it. Put up shield. Grove is just there at the back again. 
spamming stuff. There's my Q for the heal. There's a shot or two. Put the shield again. I'm dead here any second. I'm just trying to hold the overtime for as long as I can. Ying jumped on it. We actually just blasted through the Octavia. We're going to dash here on the side out of the view of the Grover. Drop a Q there for the heal on the Vora, but that didn't really work. Vatu got rid of her. Finally dead. And there is the end of the overtime. Push failed. That Grover has probably carried this game for them so far, if you were to ask me, just because he sat at the back and not really being contested at all by Charlene or the Vora, who would both be able to do it quite well. I don't know though. We'll grab some more morale boost to keep it going. I feel like it's actually been a pretty good match for aggressive Khan here again. Weirdly, I feel like I've called Khan Yag at some point in this video because for some reason I call every tank Yag when they sound kind of close. Not that Khan and Yag even sound very similar. They just both have one syllable, so my brain melts them into one. There goes the Octavia. Gonna play the objective like I did in round one just to get that free cap. Ruckus jump in there on the Grover. I do have the ult Vatu's who's ulting. Don't think that really matters too much. There is the Q hidden with a grab. I can't believe that didn't give me it. Pulling up the shield, trying to dodge from the Vatu, but he's just jumping on top of me, so I can't really do anything. Did try and ult the Grover there, but it didn't give me it. Feel kind of cheese out of that one. Dead to the Vatu again. He has a pretty heavy counter to Khan because he can just constantly shoot himself up and fire over your shield. And there we go. There's the objective lost. He was on it like a second. I think even if I did grab the Grover there, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference. Grab for the Vatu. He should be out even with the Ying heal. Yep, there we go. He's trying to ult there, but he kind of slipped off the edge and we were getting free damage. There's a Q to mitigate that. Hello, Grover. Shots on you. Life rip again, putting in some work. He is not out. I reloaded like a second early, although I guess we baited out his ult, so maybe that was worth. I don't know. Pull up the shield. Did pretty much fully gen the ultimate. There's the Q. We'll dip down. No, we won't. I got caught on the edge. There's a grab. That's the Octavia ulting. Trying to fire whoever the fuck I can. The Ying ulted. Finish off the Grover. Nope, we're going to dash up and chase him here because he is pretty low. See if we can finish him off. Ying's on the objective. Really pushing it though. We'll go and defend this for a little bit. She's dashing over here. We'll pop the Q for a bit of a self heal and for the Ying who was next to us as well. Shots on her. She's going for the ult. More shots on her here. Maybe we can finish her off because her dash is down. Okay, cool. We'll just go up top. Maybe I go for the ult on somebody. We'll grab the Grover. There we go. We actually nailed that. Can we throw him off? Probably not. Vora should have a free kill here on him though. Make sure Vatu can't push it for free. Chase him freaking perfect. He's not gone. We'll dash up just to make sure we can get the finish. The inbuilt life steal has been working really, really well there. Vatu has max quarter eyes. The Ying has a little bit of it and Mave has a tiny bit, but Vatu's the only one countering me really at all. There's some shots up there for these guys. If I can just land a couple, some cheeky little headshots. I really wish you got out the animation of your grab, the same frame that they did, because it feels like sometimes they get like a half second jump on you after you grab them, which doesn't make any sense. There is the Q grab on the Vatu. I'm dead there though. I think they do deserve the win, to be honest. I think they are the better team, but we're putting up a good fight for it. I think I'm doing fine. I think Shaolin might be a bit of a weak link. I can't tell. Anyway, into round three we go. I'm pushing up here on the Grover to try and be aggressive. I think the Ruckus is also here with me. There is the Shield Ying ulted. We are still up. Like I'm just delaying my inevitable death here. We'll just sit in here with the Shield for a sec. Fat, who's going in on me where we can take him out? Nope, I'm dead too. The Mave. That's the overtime trigger. I'm going to run here on the point. I guess this could have gone a hell of a lot better. There is the right click for some shielding Q, but that was like a tiny heal of the games over here. I wonder what the stats are going to be though, because I feel like I and like the Rekus and Ying were doing fine. I didn't really pay too much attention to the four and the Shaolin though, so I guess we'll see. Shouts to their Grover. Bit of a rough game too. Feel like I did okay though. So did the Rekus, so did the Ying as I expected. Ying healed. Rekus did his job as kind of an off tank. I played the objective sort of 43k, 37k, 797. I'm okay with that, but uh, Vor and I show them really were the weak links there. As you can see, 30k, 30k is lower than me and Ruckus and nearly Ying as well. You know, we had top damage on our side with a Vor and a show them, which is definitely kind of painful to look at. And I would put the reason we lost that onto the fact that we were lacking damage and flanks and stuff for their side, their Ying, their Grover, and their Vatu all did a great job. And then their Maven, Octavian, not so much. So it seems like three people were kind of meant to carry on each side. And sadly, we were on two tanks and a healer, whereas they were on kind of a healer playing as a damage a flank and a healer who was also kind of playing as a damage so it worked out well for them i reckon if i was on a different character there we maybe could have turned that round same thing with the ruckus and the ying maybe but thank you for watching i'd say this was actually pretty successful the setup worked well in the two matches we were in it was probably the best option i don't know if i'd have grabbed khan but if i'd have locked in khan already this would have actually been what i grabbed instead of these two maybe i'd have gone for the shield one but i probably would have actually gone for this just to kind of have some fun and try and play aggressively so yeah leave a like if you enjoyed thank you once again for watching really do appreciate you let me know what you want to see me do next i'll see you guys all really really soon as always, stay frost, stay.